I'm Adam. I'm the owner of Colorado Ski Furniture. We've been here in Manitou Springs the last couple of years. We've uh, gone on 10 years as a hobby business and two years down here at the retail store. And uh, let me show you around. So Petey's our shop dog here, helps us uh, greet customers. But um, we do lots of custom stuff. People like the uh, non-painted versions of just any color palette or brand, old brands that they like. A lot of people bring in their old stuff too, and we can build from that. But the Colorado flag paintings are really popular. Um, anything custom from animal characters to really anything you can dream up. Um, we're doing a lot with carvings now and the bigger love seat benches are neat. And then, uh, you know, matching ski sets, sometimes people like that. Also do a lot with logos. A lot of small businesses, kind of like realtors with bus benches. We're taking that idea and making it uh, a little more neat and sustainable. We do a lot of uh, hybrid benches too. It's people are big into snowboarding and skiing. Also a lot with the vintage antique look. Uh, a little harder to get, but those always turn out really nice as well. So we collect from all over. We have a lot of vintage stuff as well. We get the antique wooden skis. Those are the ones that are valuable. We can actually buy those. Anybody has the old ones. Um, we do build them into chairs. We do a lot of wall decor and uh, make them into a lot of other interior design um, inside items. We've got these sleigh tables and uh, filled with pallets. But the antique skis come from kind of all over the world. They've been around for a long time, but make them into all sorts of neat projects and little products like bookends and wine racks and birdhouses and kind of uh, unlimited options. So little items like the wine racks have done really well. We can hand paint really anything. This one's an owl, one of our artists did, but um, not too, not too difficult to make. It's taken a while for us to get them right, but really neat little gifts for people. These are shippable and easy to, to send around the country. Fairly inexpensive and uh, construction isn't too bad on these. We've got them down to a couple of hours. Um, painting takes the longest, obviously, but lots of different options there. The snowflakes are really popular. Um, we did a bunch of nutcrackers at the holidays, which are kind of neat. Some people just like solid colors too. And, of course, the Colorado flag stuff is always huge here. So customizing is really a big one too. We can overlay any words that you like. We do a lot of dedications and custom work for wedding gifts and all sorts of presents for any occasion really, but people like to put names on there or anything that's meaningful, we can really customize to whatever whatever you want, essentially. Our lead times vary anywhere from two to four weeks, but uh, so far we've been able to keep up pretty well. We've got a really great staff here, so um, kind of allows for a lot more creativity that way too, it's neat, we like doing that. Storage and uh, intake of material has come a long way. Currently in a little bit of a mess here with our uh, inbox. We've got, <laughs> got quite the pile going, but a lot of us process these and pull bindings and stack and we actually have some new staff on board trying to help us get ahead of that. We've got everything from old snowboards, we even do golf chairs, hockey sticks. There's a pretty wide variety of things that we can build from.
anything over six to eight years old they can't use. So the bindings basically, they make the ski shops not work on them because they say they won't, they won't insure you if somebody gets hurt on these bindings. So all of a sudden, boom, like bindings can't be used. They can't be redone. And so they're like, we'll sell you a new binding if you really want that ski. Or we'll just sell you a whole new set, you know, set of skis and bindings. So people usually opt for that and then they'll just dump the old one. So we just get a ton of kind of rejected skis. I'm Jared and I just do general creative carpentry around here and sometimes painting it's pretty just free form making cool stuff and doing some orders and I just I just started making these cool new beer bottle openers and trying to make some good ones for the storefront right now and this is gonna be my first like custom painted one so I'm pretty excited. Oh the process is pretty simple I mean I just cut the ski a certain length which actually was why it took me so long to get the right length so the bottle cap doesn't pop out. We've got these uh, little bottle opener things that you'll screw to there, do a little keyhole so that it can sit on a screw, build a box out of the red pine wood, and paint it. Pretty straightforward. After we process the skis on intake, pull the bindings off, we pull them in here, start cutting, prep all the wood, and cut the skis up. Scott here is our building manager, doing uh, lots of cool stuff in here. We've got jigs set up for processing and drill presses and router, sanders, saws, assembly. Scott's getting some stain out here to get some, some of these, we use wine barrels for rocker pieces. A lot of people like to have rockers. And then uh, just getting our tools organized and it's kind of a work in process. We keep developing better and better systems of doing things quicker and better. And it's come a long way in the last several years. My name is Scott. Uh, I've been here about nine months. and uh, I'm uh, the shop manager back here. We've made a lot of improvements in the past nine months or so, just uh, straightening things out, getting more organized, having a more uh, efficient flow in here so we can put out a a, a better quality chair at a better price to the customer. It's something that'll last a lot longer, you know. So, once the chair backs are put together, we bring them in here for paint. We've got uh, our Colorado mural chair, kind of do a 3D image with mountain sun, either night sky or, or day sky. We can mix in hiking trails or mountain bikers or fly fishermen or lakes or whatever you want, trees. Um, a lot of detail on the mountains now, but usually mix in with the flag. It's been, that's a really hot item. Uh, Nanny's over here painting, working on their shot skis. Um, the Colorado flag shot skis have been a big seller for us too and uh, put those together with little boots and bindings and they're neat, I'll just show you those. Uh, but yeah, lots of different designs on backs. We've got everything from Tommy Knocker Brewery, one of the breweries we've been working with, doing a lot of chairs for them. We've even got all kinds of different uh, custom, this one's a galaxy chair, and we've got you know different versions of the Colorado flag. Another one's kind of a solar system type uh, just lots of wild art designs. These ones are unpainted backs that are all prepped, ready to go for paint. Um, customers kind of walk in and order whatever they want, so we always try to have plenty of blank canvases ready to go. This is a new uh, design we just finished up. 
our little bottle cap openers with catch cans. Doing uh, lots of custom paint jobs on those too, but another fun little gift item. Easy to ship and makes a great little present. So cornhole boards have been hugely popular. They're mostly made out of particle board and they don't hang, uh, they don't really hold up well in, in the elements. So we've gone to the length of making them out of skis. Um, we use all outdoor exterior paint so you can leave them outdoors year round. This is a logo for a local ski shop that's, uh, the guy's parents bought this for him as a present. So I'll be getting these soon. But uh, we even do the bags out of Gore-Tex so they're waterproof, snowproof, and um, I have lots of different options on these. Really fun. We make them out of snowboards too, but the custom logos is, is really neat. A lot of the breweries and ski shops have been buying these up. So if you're looking at getting a piece, logistics is something we've worked a lot on. We can actually drive anything to any location in Colorado if you want to get benches, chairs, cornhole board sets, a big fire pit set up, whatever you want. Um, we can also ship on pallets. We have freight trucks that pick up about once a week. We can also break them down, ship them UPS or FedEx. So um, just let us know wherever you're at. And uh, we've even done a little international shipping, which gets expensive. but. Uh, you know, for unique custom pieces, it's uh, pretty much any option is available at this point. So, thanks for stopping by Colorado Ski Furniture. Check us out online at coloradoskichairs.com. I'd love to make you something special and uh, idea options are unlimited. So. Look us up online, check us out on Facebook or Instagram, and uh, thanks for checking us out.